Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up your Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor. So this is a really neat device that just came out in the beginning of 2022, and what it does is measure air quality. So it can track particulate matter in the air, temperature, humidity, if there's volatile organic compounds in the air, and it can even track carbon monoxide levels. So really neat device from Amazon that works on the Amazon Alexa app. So in order to get this installed, all you need to do first is go ahead and plug it in with the provided power adapter. And all you're gonna do is take it in on the bottom of the device here, there is a little plug. So we're gonna go ahead, plug this in, and then start setting it up on our Amazon app. We plugged in the device on the bottom of the smart air quality monitor and it's ready to power up. Once we plug in the device, you can see it's powered up and this light is blinking blue right here on the front of it. Now, in order to get this set up, you're going to need the Amazon Alexa app. So if you don't already have that, install it and then log in using your Amazon account, username and password. So we've already done that. We're in the Amazon Alexa app. Now, sometimes this device will automatically pop up here and then you can just follow the prompts, which are gonna be the same ones that we're going to do here. However, it didn't pop up for us, which means that we need to add it. So in order to add it, we're gonna click down here on more and then it gives us options here. At the very top, we've got an option called add a device. So let's click that. Now, in order to get this set up, this needs to be powered up while you go through the device menu. So here we go, we can walk down the menu and we're looking for the air quality monitor sensor. So let's see if we see it here in the devices that we can set up here. Now, once we scroll through the menu, we can click on air quality monitor. It says connect your Amazon air quality monitor to Alexa. To set up your Amazon air quality monitor, the Alexa app may ask for permission to access your mobile device, Bluetooth camera and location. Now, before we click next, let's make sure that we have our Bluetooth on and our location on on a phone. We have them both on, so we're going to click next. It says locate the QR code for your Amazon air quality monitor. You can find it in the quick start guide included in the box or on the bottom of the device. So on the bottom of the device here, there is a QR code right where you plugged it in. We've also got the quick start guide right here and the QR code on the back of this, you can scan and get it set up. So we're gonna use that QR code and get this set up. We're ready to scan the QR code and now we will. Once a QR code is scanned, it's looking for the Amazon Air Quality Monitor. Make sure the device is powered on, which it is. Now it's connecting it to our Wi-Fi network. Since we already have other Alexa devices connected to that Wi-Fi network, we won't have to enter a password. But if you have a Wi-Fi network, that doesn't have other Alexa devices or Amazon devices connected, you're most likely going to be prompted to enter your password for the Wi-Fi network. It says Amazon Air Quality Monitor connected. First air quality monitor has been added to your Amazon Alexa account. Next, let's continue set up. So let's click next. Where is your air quality monitor? We've got uh, different group options here. We're going to skip this for now. Your Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor is calibrating. Your air quality monitor measures temperature, humidity, carbon monoxide, particulate matter, and volatile organic compounds to calculate an indoor air quality score. You will start to see your IAQ score in a few minutes after initial calibration. The device will then go through a two-day calibration period to adjust to the surrounding environment. Browse the Quick Start Guide and learn more content for details. We're going to click OK. It says first air quality monitor is set up and ready to use. Let's click done. Once we completed the setup, it just took us back to the Amazon devices tab in the Amazon Alexa app. So if you came in through the home screen, which you typically would, all you're gonna do is toggle two devices over here to find this first air quality monitor or the Amazon smart air quality monitor. 
So in order to find this, what I'm gonna do is scroll across the top here and I'm just gonna click on all devices. And you can tag this so it's gonna show up in an easier place, but if you click on all devices, it's gonna show all your different Alexa devices that are connected to the Amazon Alexa app. So this is our device here, the first air quality monitor. I'm gonna click on that and then it's got some information already here. Now it's gonna to have to calibrate, but it does tell me uh, that I've got 75, good for the air quality. So let's click on the dashboard here and see what it says. Um, so we have to wait for it to calibrate before we're gonna get really accurate readings. But let's see what we've got here. It says temperature uh, 73 degrees Fahrenheit, humidity uh, 24%, uh, my particulate matter, that's this uh, PM, and UG over meters cubed is one. So I think that's good. We'll figure that out here. And our CO parts per million is four. So it's in a green there. And our VOCs index is one. Now, because I just set this up, it's probably gonna take some time to calibrate before these are accurate, but you can see the dashboard that you're gonna get here. You've got hourly, daily, and weekly. And you can scroll down here and see the average hourly IAQ score. And you can click down here and learn more about your IAQ range. So 165, 35 are the designators here and zero. Uh, and then it's got a good range. So a higher number is better indoor air quality. It gives you some tips here. Uh, one way to improve the air quality score is addressing the worst air quality component first. Uh, so it says you can run an air purifier to increase the indoor air quality score. Uh, it's got some information on health effects here and a link that you can click for your indoor air quality. And then you can actually connect this to Alexa so you can ask Alexa uh, questions about your indoor air quality by saying something like, Alexa, what's the indoor air quality? And then your Alexa device is going to respond and tell you what's going on. So Mine in the room is actually talking to me right now, but that's pretty cool that you can either look at this dashboard or you could ask your ALEXA device and it's gonna tell you what's going on. So 75, uh, you saw that. We've got all these different options here. Uh, let's click on daily. We can look at weekly here and uh, we can click on humidity and drill down through that. We can click temperature, humidity, uh, particulate matter. So it's got different measurements here and you can track that over time. Uh, carbon monoxide, volatile organic compounds, and you can click on here for the overall indoor air quality. So we're just gonna leave it on that in this dashboard. Now we can click out of this dashboard and let's go back to this main screen here. Uh, it's got our dashboard button. We can click on that where we just were, or we can create a routine with this. So you can set up uh, different things here. So you could, for instance, uh, if you had an air purifier that worked with Alexa, you could set up a routine when your air indoor quality gets to a certain level, you could run that air purifier, or maybe you've got a HVAC system connected, you could potentially set up a routine with that so that it's just running the fan and uh, circulating matter maybe through the filter. So that's an option with a routine, a lot of different options with those routines. If you click up here in settings, we're gonna be able to make some adjustments if you wanna change the name of this. So if you wanna use this for uh, routines and or you just wanna have a different name for when you're using it with Alexa, uh, great option here. You can create announcements. Uh, you can connect it to which Echo device that you want. You've also got notifications here. So we'll turn on the notifications. I want that to happen here. And then you can scroll down and it's just got some other options here, the LED indicator. Maybe you've got this in a bedroom and you don't want that LED at night. So you could just click over here, turn it off. That's a nice option. And then down below, it's just gonna give you your software version and some stuff that we can't show you on camera. So that's pretty much all there is uh, to setting up your Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor. I think this is a really neat little device. And if you wanna learn more about your indoor air quality, we're gonna do another video that reviews this device. So go ahead and check out the description below when we get that posted. Thank you for watching this video on the Amazon Smart Air Quality Monitor. 
If you like this video, please go ahead, give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.